So the name of the graphic novel I read was called Model by Lee So Young. The creative team behind this graphic novel is Kara McCaleb. She is the retouch and lettering. Mona Lisa Day assists. She does. She's the graphic designer. Lee So Young. She's the author, the writer, and her bio says that she also she's also an artist. So she probably contributed to the artwork within the graphic novel as well. Then there is Chris Buford. Buford. He does the digital imaging manager. And Matt Alford, he is the art director. The publisher for this graphic novel is Tokyo Pop. They're an American distribu distributor, licensor, and publisher. They publish and distribute and license anime, manga, Man How, Man Away, and Western Manga Style Works. So the, this book says that the, the graphic novel is technically 206 pages. But if you take subtract the pages in the beginning of the book, then it it goes down to about 197 pages. And this is a true graphic novel. It's not a compilation of com a bunch of comic books together. Um, if you do research, you will find out that it is one volume by itself and there's multiple other volumes right after it. So Act 1 starts on page 9 with the prologue, and it ends on around page 73. Around page 74, 75, that is when Act 2 starts, and Act 2 ends on page 162. And then around page 163, that is when Act 3 starts until page 206. This is my estimation of when the, these acts are. I might be a little wrong because of the fact that everything is so compressed in this book. It's like they try to fit so much into this one volume that it's hard to figure out when certain acts are. The characters in this graphic novel are Jay, Michael, um, Ken, and e Ava. Michael and Ken are vampires and it's hinted at that Ava might be a vampire as well but you don't know for sure all you know is that she is up at night so either she has um, sleeping problems or she is a vampire along with Michael and Ken this is Jay's story so far that I can tell um, her goal is to finish his portrait of Michael but unfortunately she doesn't really accomplish that goal towards the end of this. It's like her goal changes like midway through and all of a sudden her goal is to find out more about Michael. Um, but she, the, Michael keeps stopping her from doing this by disappearing and he's not telling her certain things. He's just being an ominous type of character. Which only leads to not having an end to this so you will have to continue on with the other volumes to figure out what happens and what really is Jay's goal because if it's finding out more about Michael then that kind of defeats her goal of finishing his portrait so yeah the transitions within this graphic novel they're okay they're not that great um, sometimes you don't even know there is transitioning to something else. Sometimes they just leave panels like blank, do no caption, no dialogue, no anything. It's just pictures of the characters either looking at each other in a room together or of the setting. And then, you know, you trans you're going somewhere else. Setting wise, read, you know where you are. Story wise, you're you're left with a lot of confusion, a lot of questions because you don't know what's going on from the very beginning. You're you're assuming that everything is real and she's not in the dream, and that everything that's been going on that she's like hypnotized or something by Michael because she's following him all the way to his mansion just to finish a portrait that she most likely doesn't even really need to do what she wants to do for some reason just to be bitten by Michael again and again to feed his bloodthirst. 
I found a couple of McCloud's transitions in the graphic novel. The three I found were Moment to Moment, Action to Action, and Non Sequentor. The Moment to Moment was when they did a close up on Jay's, like her eye, to show her reaction of what she just found. And that's when she found out that Michael has a bunch of girls for when he's bloodthirsty he just goes to them and he drinks their blood and then the action to action when jace actually stands up for herself and slaps michael in the face and michael gets aggressive with her after that point and then for the non-sequentor is this picture of these three panels and you don't know, really fully know how they relate you can assume all three relates because they're all outside and this is what Jay is looking at but you're not for sure because you don't even know what the last panel is a drawing of but that's your assumption. Paige has a mini comic while reading I didn't really find any at all it was just a continuation of dialogue and thought and everything Jay walking through his, Michael's mansion trying to figure out where he was, talking to Eva and Ken. Well, keep running into them, actually. But other than that, you don't really f you don't really see any mini-comics. There's no beginning, middle, or end to any two pages at all. Everything is just continuation of dialogue and more dialogue and more dialogue. And more of the characters just sitting down or standing around talking to each other about something. And it's not really much going on. It's very few action at all. When it comes to direction flow, direction flow is all over the place. Sometimes it could be in a Z pattern or it will be in a backwards 7 or an S or a lowcase low L or zigzags. It will it'll just be all over the place so you don't really know fully the full directional flow because every it's like every page is different. It has its own directional flow. So some of the pages like you understand Okay, so you start here, and then you're going to go to your right and go to this next bubble. Then you're going to go to, continue going on to your right to this next bubble. Then you're going to go down to your, towards your left. Then, you, like, you continue on to go, you keep going down. Some some of them, you literally have to go, just go down straight. Or you have to jump to, read this one to your left. Then you have to jump to the one on your right and jump down to the one to your left. Then go back up to the one to your right. Then go back down to the one to the left. Then go read the one down to the right. It's like it's all over the place. So sometimes you're confused about which panel you have to go to next, which bubble you have to read next, because sometimes you don't know and you're just stuck there reading every individual one to figure out which one you have to read next. And when you finally have them in order, you go back to the beginning and you read each one in order so you could try and get the gist of what's going on. But if you don't do that, then you're left in confusion and you don't know what's really happening like for this image it's very easy to figure out the the flow of everything you start off with the um, bubble to your left that says what are you looking at and then you go over to the next one to your right you continue reading down you read down straight almost like a awkward like s type figure then you go back up and then when you get to the the panel with the two girls facing each other, that's Jane and her best friend. You have to figure out, do you read that's great first or congratulations first? You don't fully know which one you should go to, but... And when you read both of them and you try to figure it out, you still don't, you kind of still don't know which one you read next because I couldn't figure it out myself. So I just read them and continued reading that like in an S-shaped form. When it comes to recommending this book to my classmates, to Carly, Jenna, and Sarah, I really wouldn't because it's a too much confusion and it's just too many pages of dialogue and characters just talking to each other and doing not much else. Yeah, she Jay leaves and walks around, but that's about, that's about it. They'll go right back to talking to each other again for, for countless of pages and it gets annoying and it gets boring and you wouldn't want to read anymore. Because that's how I felt. I really didn't want to read it anymore. I really wanted to put the book down and not really get to the end. And same goes to recommend it to my friends. They wouldn't They wouldn't want to read it. They'll start reading the prologue, get confused, and then put the book down. 
even if you did understand, you try to explain to them, you they still wouldn't understand it that much. I realized that this this graphic novel doesn't really use like what we learned in class when it comes to dialogue, thought, and action and stuff like that. Bubbles. They do something different. They use the bubbles and stuff, but their thought bubbles aren't clouds. And they have bubbles for just shouting at each other. And then there's bubbles that you have to figure out what they are because you don't know if they're thought, dialogue, or they shouting at each other. You, you just don't know at all. And they have little bubbles for like their little sounds, like, like just parentheses inside the bubble saying that a sound just occurred or smell or something. And that's something you have to figure out by reading. Um, one interesting thing I saw was that they changed the font whenever a vampire talks. Well, actually, whenever My Michael or Ken talk, they kind of changed the font a little bit. Especially when Michael talked, his font was totally different from everybody else's. The font was very hard to read. But I still thought it was very interesting that they went to the length to just make his dialogue stand out the most out of everybody's. So I his font is very interesting, but it was it was hard to read and it slowed you down even more. Well, thank you for watching my presentation on Model by Lee So Young. I hope you enjoyed it.